Section 3, Creating a Voice Activated Greeting Card. So in this section, we are going to be working to create AR greeting card in which you can actually operate with your voice. So in our first video, we are going through the Watson API sign up and also importing the API files. Then following that, we will be setting up our AR scene. Then we will be editing the speech to text script that comes with the Watson API files. We will be creating our scene controller, adding a sound manager, and then testing using voice command. So here we go with video one. Watson API sign up and importing. So in this video, we will cover registering for the IBM Watson API, importing the API files, which are actually the older version. We will be creating a quick, uh, sorry, we'll be doing a quick script edit and then validating your credentials. And then finally, we'll be setting up the speech to text widget. So about the Watson API sign up and importing, so we will be heading over to the IBM Watson website and we will be creating an account for Bloom in order to begin using the Watson API. We will also need to import the API files to begin using Watson. The newer API format, I actually found to be more difficult to implement with Unity. It was kind of just really all over the place and it didn't have the same format that the original one had. So I actually did a little bit of research on the internet and I was able to find the older API files hosted through a public Google Drive which really anybody can go ahead and download. So right underneath here, I have actually provided the link to the Google Drive in which you can download this. And I highly recommend using this version of the Watson API. After importing the files, we will make a quick script edit and then we will validate our credentials and then we will set up the text to speech widget. All right, so first thing, let's head over to the IBM Watson webpage and over here you can go ahead and sign in. Or if you want to just go directly to Bluemix, you can go to the Bluemix website and then just sign up right over there. As you can see, I'm actually already logged in. So go through the instructions to sign up for your Bluemix account, and then you should be getting an email confirmation that looks like this. Follow the link and then finish up your account setup, and then you should be brought to this following page right over here, the IBM Cloud. So when you get into the IBM Cloud, what you want to do is search for speech to text. So when you are inside the IBM cloud, you are able to find a lot of different IBM services that they offer through their APIs. For example, here you can actually get the Watson speech to text credentials, which is what we are looking to do. They also have a lot of other different APIs and a lot of other services that you can access here. But for right now, we want the speech to text. So I actually have this already created, but as soon as you hit the speech to text, it should actually take you through what you need to do in order to sign up for the services that speech to text provides through the Watson API. So go ahead and do that. And then once you are ready, go over to the left hand side, you should actually be seeing this page once you have finished up. Then once you are finished, then go over here and hit service credentials. So I'm actually not going to be showing you what my credentials look like because there is a bit of a security risk in doing so. But all you need to do is just click over here and then you will see your the entire JSON underneath the view credentials drop down right over here. Just copy them to your clipboard and then we can move on from there. So with the link that I've provided you, this is actually how the download page for the older Watson API files look. So just go ahead, download these right off of Google Drive, and then we should be ready to get started. So over here, I actually have the Watson API files and I extracted them. So go ahead, extract them when you are ready. And I have my Unity project all set up and ready here. So go inside the extracted folder, grab the Unity Watson API full um, files, and just drag and drop them into the editor. And you wanna drop everything. Okay, so now everything has been imported, but we have one small little issue. And that issue is that we are getting this error right over here. So this is a small issue pertaining to the older version of the Watson API. So just go ahead and open this up. And there's just a very simple fix to this. All we need to do is just comment out one line of code. So go up and find where the error is and you will see part of this case statement right over here, which is the runtime platform for the OS dashboard player. So just go ahead, comment that out, 
save your script and then just head back over and just let it compile and the error should go away. And there you go. So now it's asking for your credentials for the Watson Unity SDK. So go ahead and click yes. And right over here, you will go below here and paste in the credentials that you have. So I'm gonna do this really fast. After you paste in your credentials, just hit apply credentials and you should be ready to go. So now I have just applied my credentials and as you can see right over here, this is the uh, service for speech to text has been configured and the light is now green. So now we are ready to go with starting to use the, the Watson API services within Unity. So I'm just gonna do for right now is I'm go into the, the uh, project files and I wanna find the test speech to text. So type in test speech to text and look for the which is right over here, the prefab, and you can just go ahead and drag and drop that in. So the this widget right over here comes with a couple things that we really don't need. So what we want is for the words that we are saying to be displayed on the screen, because I'm pretty sure that people would like to see what they are saying. It would make it a lot easier to see in case if they have a pronunciation issue or a small error like that. So we are just going to get rid of what we don't need with this. So we don't need the touch manager. So you can deselect that. And you can also get rid of the main camera within the speech to text. And you would also want to get rid of the background because that is a bit annoying to look at. And you also don't want the text right up over here. Okay, so with that, we should be pretty ready to get started here.